Good evening and thank you for joining us, Carly. We always like to follow the Lloyd products and uh, keeping a close eye on that Hartnell situation, definitely. Yeah. Yes, a close eye and uh, certainly some cause for concern and had the chance to Scott, talk to Scott today, rather, and uh, an interesting little twist of fate. He kind of went back in time. It's a pretty neat revelation, so you're going to want to hear the story today for okay, sure. Looking forward to hearing that. Gerard, it's been a great week so far. What are we looking forward to for the rest of it? Well, it's a little nippy in some places. Right? We've had some cloud cover during the course of the afternoon, but nothing really to worry about. Right about now, though, the wind has actually picked up. Let's have a good look at it. The wind has actually picked up and it's pushed a lot of those clouds away. So I've been busy changing the weather pictures just in time to go on air, so to speak. So 21 is where we've reached at. Uh, we were sitting at 19 since about 2 o'clock. We've climbed to 21 in the last 30 minutes and it's 27% that humidity with that wind coming out of the west, gusting and a UV reading of 4. What we're looking at as we compare across the region, a similar story taking place for the Cold Lake area. Some cloud cover yes but for 20 degrees celsius you'll definitely take that cloud cover building up in the battle for a similar story to us during the course of the afternoon but 23 degrees celsius is in the mix we're expecting some wind later on this evening we talk a bit more about it in our second segment police ambulance and fire crews were called out to an early morning single car accident just outside of st paul Emergency crews found a truck parked at the end of a road about one kilometer north of St. Paul with significant damage. There were two people in the vehicle at the time of the accident. Police say one person was bleeding severely and transported to hospital. The injured occupant was in and out of consciousness and stuff and not um, quite sure how severe the, the other person that was apprehended, what uh, the severity of their injuries are. Police believe the truck hit an object in the ditch which caused the passenger tire to flatten, but that didn't stop the driver. We actually followed the, the tire marks and stuff back 23 kilometers to where we found the tire on the um, right front had come off the vehicle back on 28 highway. And the other person involved fled the scene but was later caught by RCMP. It's believed alcohol may have been a factor and charges are pending. It's been almost a month now since the distracted driver law has been in effect. Shauna Roshuk spoke with the Lloydminster RCMP to find out how well residents in the border city have obeyed that new law. The proposed legislation Not paying attention to the road will cost drivers. With a fine of $172 and adding demerits if the offense happens in Saskatchewan, across the region 12 tickets have been issued by the Lloydminster RCMP, a number a lot lower than they expected. The tickets that we have issued, uh, people have been well receptive and they know the law and they've acknowledged what they've done wrong. Kadoon says like any other law, this one is not going away with the potential for stricter enforcement in Alberta if the problem continues. They will probably increase fines in the future. It's been known to happen with other offences. And the same goes for across the border. And, uh, Saskatchewan is one with that that they've done. That will, there are other laws. I wouldn't be surprised if they go up in the future as well. Even off duty, Kadoon says he still sees a lot of drivers talking on their phones or texting something that concerns him. It's like anything, we're not going to be able to stop everyone. They're going to do what they want, when they want, um, regardless of the consequences. Shauna Roshik, New Cap News. There was lights, camera, action today as Ford Canada sent a production crew to the border city. Boundary Ford will be featured in a story that will be showcased at a national convention in late October. Mike Baden explains why the dealership here in town is a star. And action, they hold. Quick lanes can be found all across North America, with Lloyd Minster's location continuing to set the standard each year. Ours is one of the very best quick lanes in all of Canada. When Ford sends out monthly reports, the quick lane at Boundary in Lloyd Minster is always at the top of the pile. The Toronto film crew has made stops in Brampton and Regina, and today was the border city's time to shine. We're visiting different Ford dealers. Uh, we're talking to them about success stories uh, and this will all culminate in uh, being shown uh, at a convention uh, later in the month of October. While the staff at Boundary Ford appreciate the recognition, they say customer service is and always will be their top priority. Well, I think we have an awesome team here. Uh, we get the jobs done and in, in and out as fast as we can and the quality of work and uh, being honest, upright and decent with people, that helps a lot. The day was a bit unconventional for Holland, who isn't about to change careers. Action. Thanks, Alan. Your leadership has inspired us. 
Well, I'll tell you, it's a bit like being on America's Next Top Model. Uh, hopefully the swimsuit stuff doesn't come up next. But uh, it's been uh, very interesting and uh, a whole new challenge. It's certainly a different day for me. The next stop on the tour will be Montreal later this week. Mike Baden, Newcap News.